Hey guys, this is Tians, and today I'm going to film like a weekly favorites and um, please subscribe to my channel if you're interested to see more and um, let's get started. I've been really loving the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Um, I think this one I got in the shade number two light. So today what I'm wearing, I'm also loving the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. What I did today is I mixed these two products on my skin after a pore filling primer and I really love the result of these two products together. So I highly recommend if you want to pick these up from the Sephora VIB sale, you can. And I believe I did get this Charlotte Tilbury from Sephora. And this one I got from a BoxyCharm box if you're interested. I don't know if they're going to include that in the future boxes. Um, the next product I'm going to talk about is the Clinique Blush called Heather Pop. Again, I'm wearing all of this on my face and this Heather Pop. Oh, I forgot to mention that um, in the Born This Way foundation, I'm in the shade Shortbread. Um, this Heather Pop, I just got, I got this one a long time ago. I don't think it was when these were first released, uh, but um, later. This is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I really love this blush. Now, I usually, I have so many makeup that I don't wear the same blush usually unless I really loved it. But this blush is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today and I really love it because I think it just gives a light wash of pink. It's not really overwhelming as some of the other blushes. So I really love that. Um, for setting my face, um, today I'm using my favorite setting powder, which is the Givenchy Prince May Libre Powder. And this product came with a few different shades. And I do have the OG shade. You know, the one has that purple and the blue. I don't like that one. This particular one I really love is in number five, Satin Blanc. Uh, Blanc. This one is a pink. And this one's a, um, a little bit yellowish. And these two are just basically a different uh, yellow. And this is a white. And I just love mixing these together. I just cleaned up the lid today. And um, I think it's really important to clean the lid. So it does come with a puff. I usually just put it on here and I use a sponge to put it on my face. It is really messy, but this particular one gives you a sheen compared to the OG one that I talked about. It has that purple and the blue in it. So, but I do really recommend these. If you're interested in spending money on an expensive powder, I think this one is a really good one. Now, these powders do last me a really long time. I just don't see the point of keep buying the same thing or buying different powders and then I go through this. Um, I do love the packaging. I think the Givenchy does a good job with the packaging. Next is the eyeshadow palette I'm wearing on my um, on my eyes today. Is I did show it in yesterday's video on my um, eyeshadow palette collection. Is the Harla Pop Hocus um, Hocus Pocus palette. I really really love this palette. I think it is gorgeous. I'm going to show it again. Go so here is a gorgeous close up look out of these. Um, I'm wearing, okay, so I'm wearing, um, these two here and I really love that one. And also I'm wearing this one. Um, I think I'm wearing this one on my, um, outer third and um, into the crease. And I just, uh, work this one over the lid and then work this one into the crease. And today I'm, I'm trying this color here called Come Little Children. <laughs> Seems like a so evil here, and I will swatch this one. I love this one here. It is just a really pretty color with the sheen, and it's gorgeous. Um, I will shoot this, this swatch. Here we go. I love this color. It's so pretty, and it is just what it shows. It has a sheen with it. I'm wearing it on my eyelid. And I just loved it. I'm going to throw away this plastic because it's disgusting. I also really been loving, I'm also wearing the highlighter today. It's the Hourglass highlighter. I think this is the kind of a stick highlighter. This one is in the shade Gold Flash. Um, I don't know if this one can see. 
and it is just a basic um, golden highlighter. I'm gonna swatch it here. So that one looks, it's not over your face highlighter. I'm, I'm, re I'm wearing today on my cheekbone. This is not one of these blinding highlighters or in IG highlighters or filter city highlighters. This one is actually really kind of soft. And I put it on top of powder, it doesn't cake up. So I really liked it. Now the lip gloss I'm wearing is the ColourPop slash Mulan lip gloss and um, I think the shade Phoenix. I really love this lip gloss. I got two of them. I think if you're signed up on their website also, the Hocus Focus Mine, you should be able to um, receive a notification if they were back in stock. I love this lip gloss. I, I am not typically a lip gloss person. My favorite lip glosses are Urban Decay Naked, but I think this one is a little bit sticky but it's also really pretty in there, if you can get, yeah, I love that one. And also, I really love this Buxom Plumping Lip Liner in the shade Hush Hush, so I'm wearing on my lips today, all over the lip lines, filling with the lips, I'm just wearing this one as a lipstick. This one does come with this kind of brush that I don't care about, so that's what this one looks like. Here is the swatch. Really pretty. So that's what I've been wearing. I've just been wearing some of my favorite products today and I want to film this video and also test out this new setting and this new iPad situation. There's a product I just tried today. It's the Pacifica Pineapple Flower Oil-Free Matte Mist. So I don't know. I'm not... Um, right now my face is kind of like combination skin. So it kind of like not really great anymore. So I, I have like peeling problems over like exfoliating products. So I'm not sure about how this works on me, but I guess this is my first time using it. I did get it from Marshalls and I'll update you guys on that maybe next week. Okay, if you could subscribe and follow me on the IG, I think um, that would be great. And I thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you next week. And also, um, let me know what do you think about this setting and the lighting because it's really hard for me to figure these out without spending a lot of money on lighting. So if this is okay, I'm just going to go with these. Um, okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.